How did you get that flute? It Biba handed down in Biba family. That Biba mine too. Biba ba ba ba! Why you Biba live? What happened to Wingapede? Welcome back to a uh, another episode of Chrome Cross. So, the reason it's been so long is that my my save got corrupted. So that was fun. My save state got completely corrupted, and the uh, closest uncorrupted save state I had was about uh, eight to ten hours of gameplay back. It's not pretty. Uh, so, I've been catching up, doing my best to catch up. I think I've got it mostly, uh, mostly done now. I might have missed some stuff. I don't think I did any extra things, but if I did, I apologize. Uh, but yeah, I did my best to get the characters back, get them named what we had them named, all that fun stuff. Uh, so if you notice some slight inconsistencies, that would be why. Arr, we made it up, but how are we supposed to get back down? The Lynx just shakes his head. Maybe if we just jump down like we did before... I also don't remember how I did any of the voices. I probably should have checked that before I, you know, started recording. But no. Why would I do that? That would be smart. So jump down the sand boil to get launched right back up. That was fun. What does this dude all the way over here have to say? Looks like my theory was correct. If only I had defeated those things, I could have had full bragging rights. Yes, you could have, but unfortunately you did not, so... To us go half bragging rights. Ha 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 ha. Alright, so since it's been a while, let's do a bit of a refresher. We have defeated two of the dragon gods. We need to defeat the dragon gods, or at the very least, get their relics. Uh please. Like links, links, links not that hard. Okay, apparently it is that hard. Lynx. There we go. Um, but yeah, we need to get their relics, and let's be honest, they're all going to make us fight them. So yeah, in order to uh, get the help of... The shaman to get, you know, links. Not links. You know what I mean? We gotta get links to not be links if you know what I'm saying. Capsules are so useful. They are, but like, I have a lot. Alright. So, we have defeated the Earth Dragon. And the water dragon. That means we have four more dragons to go. We have the fire dragon. We have the sky dragon. So fire dragon we met before when we went into Mount Pyre. Sky dragon is uh, pretty obvious because of sky dragon isle. But then we have two more that were not, you know, that just going around, you're not really as certain as to where they might be. So, first things first, let's just, let's just stick with what we know. And go through things that I totally don't want to go through at this point. Anyway, um, I don't remember what world each of these are in. So... 
we saw, you know what? We saw the fire dragon in another world, so my guess is that's where we're gonna have to fight it. We board our boat. So I need to, I need to figure out what is in what world. Um, okay, that's this world. So in this world, we brought the Zelbus over here to Marbule to sing a song, and we defeated a crap ton of monsters. Which was very, very, very time consuming. I'm trying to remember if this is the world or not. My memory of what's on what world is, is a little bit, uh, a little bit shaky, but on one of these worlds, I think it might be this one. Um, maybe? They're not saying anything about the, uh, crazy little alien yet, so maybe. Um, no, I think this was where the crazy little alien was. Well, then I think... Yep, that thing left its place. So... Reich is now in Hermit's Hideaway, from what that guy said. Um, but yeah. So... Well, I do believe there is one more dragon we can get uh, in this world. No, you know what? Let's do that. It'll be fun. I actually have a half-decent party makeup for it. So, let's do it. Let's do this. So we're gonna sail in and dock over by Arnie. And then run ourselves on over to the Hydra Marshes. Now I will admit I am not sure where you hear about this. So I would have to do some... I'll do some digging and let you guys know. You guys ever heard of Gaia's Naval? It's a remote island surrounded by bluffs in the southern tip of Elmido. No one's ever set foot on that island before. We explorers even go as far as to call that place the Holy Ground. Well, that's, that's fun. Touch that, go down. What do you say? You'll find weird yellow monsters in this forest which don't take too kindly to humans. Between us, I think they know something about that huge bug you just heard about. I mean, I did just hear about a huge bug. Sir? <laughs> Sir? Thank you. Uh, just right in my way all the time. Let me climb on my uh, caramel apple suckers. And let me... Talk to a weird yellow monster. How did you get that flute? It Biba handed down in Biba family. That Biba mine too. Biba ba ba ba. Why you Biba live? What happened to Wingipede? It brings shame to Biba family if we always Biba defeated. Time for revenge. Biba Biba. So yeah, we gotta go through this again. No, I'm not skipping this battle. Beavis are too fun. So, let's just start out with our raw physical attacks. Uh, leave it to Biba! Biba call friend! Of course, Biba call friend, because why not? So, let's try and take down this main Biba as quickly as possible is going to be the focus of our attacks. See, it's already sitting down. There's Biba Friend. I don't know if the friends call friends, but... Okay, would you stop? There we go. Alright, we took out the main one. Which actually leaves Trevor with enough elemental power left to just element this one. Do a little damage. And it's frozen. Perfect. 
and then Pierre's gonna come in here and beat him up. Really quick battle, really easy. We've done this before, it was definitely harder the first time. Um, but yeah. So, Ming's, Trevor, and Pure all get their spoils, get their stuff boosted. Hi, Biba, are you sorry? Here, I give you this. Please forgive, Biba. This Biba ancient fruit found in ancient ground. You will be Bebal, Bebal to tame Wingapeed with this. Bebal. Gosh dang. All you have to do now is blow the Biba flute, not Biba the truth. If you blow the flute further down the bridge from my friend Biba standing, you will be Biba bull to ride Wingapede to ancient ground. Got an ancient fruit! Ba -ba -ba -ba. I wish you the be best of luck! I'm gonna save. Saving is cool. Yes, I am actually using memory cards now. So that's fun. I find it interesting how the menu is like shifted up from everything else. Anyway, look, there's a friend standing here. What you say. You want to go to ancient ground? Then call Wingapede here. You Biba use flute and ancient fruit. Use flute to call Wingapede and feed it the fruit. I mean let's be honest, the big the big way to uh, figure out where things are is just explore. So this is something fun that we haven't been able to get to before. Uh because we last time we tried calling the Wingapede, it fought us. There was a giant crack in the ground, and then we fell to our doom. And by to our doom, I mean onto a pentacles, which was trying to eat a fairy. And back on the world map, we see it's taking us over to this area here. Press my X button and select that. And we drop down. We will be able to make it back if we blow the flute again here. You come up from sky? Ooga booga! I'm sorry, I should probably do a smaller voice for her. You friend of father? Father? You know him, father? Father is a brave warrior. Leah lose him, father, when Leah very little. Grandma say I'm father went him to sky. You come him from sky, so Leah think him you know him father. Arr, we're sorry, Leah, but we don't know your father. By the way, where are we? Leah don't know him either. Leah face him land anger and end him up here. Villagers not him here. Only Leah and he come him here. What was that? The green dragon? He pretty tough him. Leah help him if you fight him him. Leah winning him so far. Leah temporarily joined the party. Which means... That we just get to pick. Um, so Leah over here is a yellow in it. Actually has more HP than Trevor, same amount of health, more magic, crap ton more agility, her resistance is slightly worse, but I actually think she's going to be the better choice. So yeah, she is perfectly set up for this. We, as Trevor mentioned, this is home to the green dragon. So we are going to want someone who can handle a green dragon, aka someone with a green in it. So, you know, 
yellow in it. Anyway, I'm going to finish setting her up with elements and equipment, and I will see you guys in a bit. Alright, got everyone all equipped up and everything. Am I going to regret uh, not having more anti-poison stuff? Probably. But, you know. So... I'm gonna try to avoid this mon- nope. Apparently I don't get to avoid the monster. So we're gonna fight this dumb little prey mantis, which is not a praying mantis, it's more like a weird stinging wasp spider. It's a little weird. And Leah is an axe wielder, so she's gonna come in here with her shiny silver axe and go beat stuff up. And then Tears would come in and I'll speed stuff up. Of course. So. I made sure to put antidotes on people. For this sole reason. Because guess what? Even after you finish the battle, he ain't healed. Really makes me wish I had more, like, antitoxin caps or something. But I do not. So we're gonna we're gonna try to maybe overkill it? Maybe? Perhaps? Send some scary things its way, it'll be great. Uh but yeah. So let's try one of Leah's texts. She's got tailspin here. She says swirl her tail around to create a tornado attack. She is super good to have. She or any yellow in it character is super good to have this entire island because a lot of the enemies are green and obviously we're facing a green dragon. So highly recommend. If not her, then like Zoa, Trevor, whatever you end up naming him, um, would also be a good one to have. So options. But yeah, so uh, we heard a roar from back here. So we go back this way, and there's some weird barrier here. We can't get through. Well then. Looks like we'll have to do something to give, make that barrier go down. Maybe Agamon, draw him out. Leah was saying something about fighting, right? I have an enemy coming in. But put this on my lower health character here. Uh instead of the Pendragon Single C. I am going to give him the green brooch as soon as I can find it, because it's got protection against green status effects. Like poison. Let's do this. We've got a bird coming in. But anyway, so Leah mentioned that she's been fighting this green dragon is what she says. Uh, so she's been fighting, well, whatever we call the green dragon. She said, yeah, she's been fighting it. He's pretty strong, but she's been winning. So if he's pretty strong, he might have a bit of an ego, too. Folly want a cracker? Um. So, maybe if we show that we're strong, he'll want to fight us. So that's kind of what we're doing right now, is we're showing we are strong, we are powerful, and if nothing else, we're gonna go get a bunch of chests. So, even if... Even if this doesn't work, we at least get a bunch of chests out of it, so uh, I'm not going to complain too much. Look, if you could kindly stop wrecking our face, it would be appreciated. Holy light! 
So yeah, this is going to be another, another, uh, lots of battles kind of thing, just like on Marbule. Um, like I said, if nothing else, we get a lot of spoils, which hopefully by the time we're done with all this, I have enough items and such to keep anyone in my party from getting poisoned. Because that is the big thing, is that poison is a thing, and boy is it annoying. And I would love to not use all my antidotes. Although currently the only person I have to use antidotes on is Lynx. Because I put a star fragment on Leah, which protects against, like, burns, sprains, I think the flu, poison, and I think a white status effect and a black status effect as well, but I don't remember which one's off the top of my head. Basically, the star fragment's really good at protecting against uh, status effects. Might be fatigue and darkness? Or fatigue and curse or something like that? But anyway, I think it, it basically depends against one of each of the... Uh, one status effect from each color is basically, if I remember correctly, what it depends from. Nice crit there! I thought it was a crit because the screen kind of flashed. I put my hand up to make the gesture of a screen flashing and I just realized none of you can see that so it doesn't matter. But yeah. So, with that, heal ourselves up and climb back down from this tree. So yeah, that's going to be our goal. It's kind of kind of kind of running around, maybe fighting everything we can and, you know, also getting some nice uh, treasures and spoils in the process. So hello, enemy. Goodbye, enemy. Fine, guess I'll climb up here instead. If I climb up here, I mean go fight this dude! Or not! I'll take the chest. Uh, Denoderate. So, get some nice, uh, stone stuff. We do have save points here, so we can use the Smith Spirit to, uh, forge things. I don't remember if I've used the Smith Spirit before. Um, so actually... Alright, so this is our new enemy. It's the Prehysterics. I hate them. They're evil and need to die. Because, I'm sure we'll see soon. Yep, Jurassic Beat. Yellow in it with a red tech. Which is a little weird, but... This Jurassic Beat... Poor Pure. This Jurassic Beat confuses someone. Uh, I don't know if Pure is actually affected. He is not, but it can. It can confuse someone. And then you get party members attacking party members, or wasting elements, or what have you. Perfect. I'm gonna do like one whole damage. And he's not gonna get as beautiful. I love anti-poison items. They make my day. Literally, as long as they attack... Oh, that hurts more on her because she's a uh, yellow in it. But as long as they attack anyone but... Oh, it's the opposite. Uh, but as long as I attack anyone but Lynx with that, I'm set. Because Lynx doesn't have any no poison... He doesn't have any don't poison me bro uh, items on him. But he does, you know, have a decent amount of health. I think he has two sets of antidotes, so he's got ten total. Uh, Leah has, like, five total, and Pure had five, so now I think he has four. Because antidotes are consumables. I don't want to be yellow. Come back here and let me beat you up. There we go. It's finally He's finally low, so... Should be able to take him down pretty soon here. So we don't have to deal with his Jurassic beat again. <laughs> I was yellow. Now I'm green. Lynx cannot make up his mind. Oh, but now Pure is also green in it. Beat up the prehysteric a little more. There we go. Perfection. 
Let's just get a nice invincible in on these enemies then. You know. I love these. I love the light tech skills. And all the cinematics they have. Like, invincible is really cool to see him cutting through all those symbols at different angles. And I am very excited for whenever we learn uh, Lynx's level 7 tech skill. It happens at a certain number of boss stars, by the way. So basically, we just need to keep progressing in the game. Maybe find some fun side bosses, um, although I don't know if there are any um, that we can fight right now. There are some... Okay, I know of one, but I'm not fighting it yet because that's dumb. So, uh, like, I need to, I need to prepare before I go fight that one. And to prepare, I need to do other stuff. And trying not to be spoilery here. Uh, so, yeah, no. We'll we'll do it when we we'll get to it when we get to it, and then maybe I'll explain that this was what I was being so cagey about. I'll probably say it was an optional fight, so hopefully that gets it across. Because I'm going to forget to say that this is what I was being so cagey about. But you know, life. Um, but yeah. So we got one enemy left to beat up here, and I don't think it takes too many more stars. I will uh, try looking at it between episodes to see how many stars it takes and how many we are at. And it healed itself, of course. And my fingers were on the wrong buttons, of course. Beat him up, Leah. Beat him up. Took out all the health he got back. The I don't feel sorry for you poor sap. I've done a summons, right? I'm pretty sure I've done a summons. I think I did one against the fire dragon once. Or maybe not. You know, maybe not. I will do a summons at some point, if I have not already. And we will, uh, see what kind of havoc it wreaks. Anyway, finish that fight. People get their HP buffs. Heal is needed. All that fun stuff. And let's just sneak past this guy that has walked off the screen. And save our game so that next time we can continue our uh, epic rampage through the... Uh, streets and stuff. I will see you all then.